No second guessing. <laughs> it's a good way to start a video. That is our first video. This is the first take. Never happened before. No. Um. So yeah, we're just doing like a weekly blog vlog thing where we talk about um, the songs that we wrote track by track. So, and then, you know, maybe one day we'll play them. We have plans to play them. Yeah, <laughs> so, if I can ever remember the lyrics here. But maybe, you know, when I was when I go through albums, there are always songs that people play live and talk about a ton and have Wikipedia pages. And then there are songs that I really like that no one talks about. And, you know, we I got to get, get every single about. one talked about. All right, that's what I want. Yeah. When I'm going through, you know, people have written about the Beatles extensively, but... I still want people to talk about those derpy... I still want people to talk about <laughs> wild honey pie. So. Yeah. Ding, 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 What's ding, your ding, opinion ding, ding, on wild ding, ding, honey pie? So. Uh, <laughs> not not actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is about our songs. Wild honey pie? Yeah. I have lots of opinions yeah. on <laughs> Paul McCartney's... Dud, or, uh, you Funny know. sounding? <laughs> Short. <laughs> Combination good. But no, this is um, track one, album one, Beverly... Album Beverly track thick of it track thick of it. This is a this is a Sammy's story. Lick yeah, um, tune yeah. But but in order to get into this one a bit, we have to talk about another song <laughs> of yours. Of mine. Um, well, yeah, like we met um, at uh, teaching like music at an after school program, and started talking about bands we liked, and Sam was smart enough and brave enough to invite me over to write songs. So a lot of what the songs are on this album are, we were just talking about this, were like us learning to write together and less, us learning to write in the yeah. same space. And so For sometimes, sure. and this still happens, someone will come in with a riff and it'll inspire the other person to go, oh, I want to write a song that's got a bit of that or, yeah. you know, oh, that's, you know, because we are trying to match each other in a certain way. So I guess I came in with a song that I was trying to write. I was just trying to use jazzy chords in a loopy way because yeah, yeah. that's, you know, what's what's popping right now. And I was trying to, I try to write a bit of different kinds of and songs. And when, when is now? <laughs> in the 2000s, <laughs> in the two, 2020s. 2018 or something <laughs> that the song was written. The, yeah, that came out been, 2022. Yeah, that would have been there? 2020. Yeah, nothing happened. Nothing happened that put a year-long break on everything. But, yeah, um, who knows? But yeah, history, I, history I wrote a song that was a little ditty, and uh, Sam, I guess, liked it so much that he said, oh, I should write. Yeah, they were like those pretty jazzy chords. Yeah. Was, and I was like, because you, you're talking, we're talking about Friend. Yeah. The song Friend, he would come in with that beautiful... <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm not playing it right. <laughs> hey, who knows? Well, you know, we'll work that out in post. Um, but... I I really liked it, and I was like, I need to write something beautiful. 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 And so my version of that was was thick of it. Which I love. I think it's a very, it's one of those, like, simple songs about a complex emotion or a complex song about a simple emotion. It's just, it's got that balance to it. Yeah, and I came in and wait, I was very flattered when you were like, "Oh, I wrote it because I'm a friend." Because I think of them as completely different. So I was really yeah. trying to write like yeah, a it was it was just like pretty jazzyness, and there are, you know there are other influences. I was listening to, and this will date it. Maybe it was 2019 actually. It probably was. I'm because probably trying to make. A I sound. think this is a little later in the process perhaps but i was listening to a lot of wilco's ode to joy you were which i finally you were very excited about that album. yeah you know? yeah it was a sort of a return to form for them in my opinion and there's a song called quiet amplifier which doesn't really musically <laughs> but there's totally. an ethos there's an ethos there there that sort of makes i remember walking home from sure the school where we both work, where we work. and I was looking at the sky and it sort of had this sort of foreboding feeling or yeah. something. And there is something about being in New York. It was that very I wanted, dreary. Yeah, that yeah, kind of yeah. Year. And, and sort of all of those strange 
things came into this song and yeah it, it's it's funny because it worked perfectly because we were kind of talking like we're both really into concept albums and um you know we were kind mm-hmm. of talking about what the album had been about and i think a couple days before we had decided that it was the genesis of the idea was that each song was going to be a different person in new york yeah it was going to be like one day in new york and a bunch of different yeah, characters. Yeah, which, and... which I then, of course, took, well, I'm in New York. I'm in New York, So yeah, this, yeah. Is, this, is, just, is, this is just, I'm one of the characters. Yeah. So I was like, it's okay if I have one that's just... But it, it ended up being a me. perfect yeah. intro for the album, because, you know, there's, yeah. like, the Smells Like Shit line, and there's this... It gives it this atmosphere, and it's funny that the song that was kind of on your mind was, what, qu- Quiet... Uh, quiet Amplifier. Amplifier, because it is, like, a, a proclamation for the beginning of the album. It's a very, like... Oh, here's the setting, and and just makes this nice bed for the rest of the album to exist on with all these diverse songs. And then the other thing I will mention is that it's we worked very hard, and we we consciously worked very hard to sing together and have harmonies and have back and forth and stuff. And so this album, this song is Sam sings it solo, and he wrote it solo, and yeah, it's just it was, really good. It was a little bit of a. Yeah, sometimes they just come out. Yeah. <laughs> and they, yeah. I'm not here, <laughs> you know, and you yeah. can't help it. Or vice versa. But And it's, you know, it's not too long. It's not yeah, too complicated. Didn't need a bridge. It's, I didn't need to come in. A, B, oh, A, B kind of deal. Oh, this needs an outro. Yeah, it was just very, it was nice. It was good. It was yeah. good the way it was. But it, what it did is it created a nice bookend for the album. Because what we ended up doing is you had another song that you had yeah. no lyrics for, and I just like heard it and immediately went like, da 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 It's a, it's it's a yeah, slow news day. Yeah, so we just bookended the album, the rest of the album, very back and forth, very him and I together. Yeah. And I like doing that with our albums where... Yeah, I think that's still, I think Slow News Day is still the only song that we wrote that way, where it's just like, I did all the music, and then you were like, and now it's time for me to come in and sing lyrics, and it was, I don't think we've done that very much. You know, this is why we're doing this. I hope this is recording. Yeah, this is why we're doing this song at a time is because we tried to do an album at a time and it just got so long. But I was at a point in my life where I didn't have a lot of necessarily confidence with myself as a songwriter. And, you know, I... In walked Mr. Sam. In walked Mr. Sam to give me all this confidence. But he... yeah, And so one of the things that I kind of pitched initially was us doing like a Smiths-like thing where I would just front it and you would write all these songs because I was like, I, I don't know if I can write as good as you. You're such a good guitar player oh, and you write oh, all these very beautiful songs. Swap it. And I've become a much better songwriter writing against and with and, Sam. And me too, and me too. And I appreciate that. We've, but you know, We've learned all sorts <laughs> of jazzy pretty chords. But that was here. one of, you can see on Beverly specifically a couple different directions that we were kind of trying and... Yeah, you know, yeah. we just set that, up on a that, Lennon McCartney thing, the classic. Yep. You know, we were we both bring different things to the table, and uh, it just works. We write yeah. some groovy songs. It was so. great. It was great. I worry that when I put my head down, I'm like, but then I'm not looking at the camera. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really much smaller than Eric. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting used to being on camera. So you know, if you like these videos. Please watch for the next one if you want to hear about your songs. If you just like, you know, hearing people talk about songs and what they like, we love talking about songcraft. So my big plan is one day to film a video where I show you the pilot of Songland. The pilot of Songland. But I don't want to be YouTubers. Okay, <laughs> but like, okay. If I really want, I think Do that songwriters so react? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so for now, we'll leave it at that. One song, anything. It's your song. It's a beautiful song. No, thank you. Thank it's, you. You know, it's I, about yeah. So it's about me. It's about living in New York and it's a, a love hate thing with New York. And um, I guess it was sort of I w- I was sort of so almost self consciously writing about living in New York because it's like so many people have done it. But it's like we were talking about doing this New York album, and I was like, okay, I can throw a New yeah. York <laughs> name right, drop it, I'm in there. In New York. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I've been living in New York. This is, this is, this is my truth. <laughs> yeah, I own that. Like, yeah. Yeah, and um, sort of, you know, I moved here with my my now fiance, and it's sort of about how you can you can love anywhere if you're if you love the people you're with. Well, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I like about your songs. I think, and I've learned to write against it a lot. You have a new song coming out for album three called Whoa! Schedules, which that's is right. kind yeah. of, 
that sentiment where it's like no matter where you are in the world, you're just fucking stuck doing the same shit. So like it's what yeah. you make of it, and it's the people that matter, which gives like I said, it gives a great context to the album. It really does, and I like that album. Yeah, I think I think Beverly came out great. Yeah, I like it. It's got That's a really good chorus. The production is very interesting. It's got this very like wavy, you know, yeah. um, sort of like futuristic like chant kind of sound like wah, 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 wah. it's kind of mystic like that's maybe I don't why know. I think it's such a yeah know. it's kind of like mystic <laughs> like oh, oh, <laughs> but no because the symbols are very light I remember you recording that and just re- recording the crash and the um, for the other symbol Th- for think of it I remember it being a very symbol oriented you kind of yeah. just sh- no, 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 no. but no that was still with Joe we didn't that think was, of it with Joe yeah I had a drum machine with the oh, sort of splashy, with the splashy. Psh- yeah, yeah 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 you're right that kind of thing lie. and then I had Joe and I was telling Joe because this is over Zoom this is during COVID this, this is during COVID we were recording drums drums I, it was so it was so out of sync so I was like was that was that a good take was that, <laughs> yeah yeah I remember and everyone I, was I like yeah trust, like, trust us yeah, that yeah, was yeah. really a good I don't think like, you it sounded it. like a cool take I had <laughs> no idea if I it was in tune I just synced up yeah. yeah and he's like I'm a professional drummer do not <laughs> do yeah. not worry Joe was a serious professional but yeah that was the note was like just keep it light and it's so, yeah, all so about the atmosphere. Doing, yeah, 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 yeah. Doing but, drums, yeah. We were the atmospheric, but, but that was the intention that we had yeah, yeah, about yeah. it, and um, I think yeah, Joe did a great job on whatever he played on. Yeah, I totally see. We almost walked away without talking about Killer Joe, Killer but I'm Joe. sure we will. That's his name, Killer Joe. That's how you know him when you look him up on the Instagrams. That's how you know Joe. He's Killer Killer Joe, <laughs> Killer Croc Joe. <laughs> Uh, All right, twelve minutes in. I think we're yeah, done. With yeah, this we're song. done with this video. <laughs> <laughs> Till next. This is Tuesday. Trick Flower saying, "Stay tricky, tricky, tricky flow, flow, flow." flow. <laughs> <laughs> Just ruin.